Aptera released some details on its suspension system. It's actually pretty nifty. Aptera announces its launch, fee, uh, launch mode. My goodness. A YouTube channel I found this week talks to a rapper. What does this have to do with Aptera? We got footage of the presentation that Steve Thambro and Chris Anthony gave during their trip to St. Moritz from Aptera Owners Club. What happens when your favorite YouTuber makes fun of your favorite car brand? Stay tuned to find out. Hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to this, a new format I'm trying, where I go over the news stories for the week. This time, all of these stories specifically reference Aptera or Aptera related things, but next time, who knows? Anywho, let's get going today with the news that Aptera announced its launch mode. The video was pretty fun from an entertainment perspective as it showed various folks from Aptera getting uh, to experience the launch mode. The entire time it rema reminded me of something that Tesla and most other car companies do, which is show how interesting and fun their cars are. As much as I believe some car companies don't have to sell us on their awesomeness, I did think it was pretty great that Aptera did so since they're just now getting to the point where they're uh, getting more press attention from bigger YouTube channels, news media, and the like, much like they did the first time around. Speaking of YouTube channel attention, the next story could completely be me projecting or misunderstanding what went on, but I'll go into it anyway so that you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from. Um, I will do so in my normal, methodical way. Namely, I was listening to my favorite podcast from my favorite YouTuber, uh, in case you guys did not know, this would be Marquez Brownlee's Waveform podcast. He has even inspired some of the experimental videos on my gaming channel. And while talking about concept phones, which he has an understandable contempt for because they show off features that by and large never make it to phones in real life, he said this. I was a little bit annoyed because a lot of the headlines were like OnePlus made a water cooled phone and it does, but it doesn't actually work. Like, yeah, they, they were they were like, yeah, this could work if we had the additional components to actually cool it. And I'm like, OK, but how much extra space is that going to take up? Is the battery going to be even more reduced? I made an electric car that goes a thousand miles on a charge. <laughs> Just not this one. Just, it does. Just but look at it. Yeah. Doesn't it look like it would go without? Where's miles? your pre-order? Well, it, I'll, yeah, right right I'll take yeah. your hundred bucks right now. Which I interpreted as an unusually specific dig at a car company that we are all familiar with on this channel. There is no other car brand that is looking to hit a thousand miles yet. There also is only one other company besides Aptera that currently has pre-orders going for a hundred dollars, at least that I could find. There's also only one car company that I have specifically mentioned by name in the comments of one of his videos to take a look at. Mind you, I'm not vain enough to believe that my comment was the reason he made the comment. In fact, I doubt he ever read it. But I made the comment three weeks-ish ago, and it takes me about three weeks to put out one of my longer videos, so yeah. All I can say on the matter is this is one of the few times in my life I wanted someone I have a fair bit of admiration for to be wrong, but here we are. That stated, I'm perfectly okay with being wrong about this. If he just so happened to mention those specs because he thought they were wild and out there and has never heard of Aptera, I will eat my words, but it certainly didn't seem that way to me. Aptera released details of its suspension that were previously unknown to the public. They talked about how they did computer simulations of their suspension and went out and tested it in the real world. Apparently those simulations were at a 95% efficiency or efficacy and informed them on their computer modeling moving forward. Basically they didn't feel the need to test too much stuff in the real world, which means Aptera has a much less expensive uh, route to produce the vehicle. That's not to say they won't do real world testing. It just appears as if they will need to do less of it than conventional automakers do. The next thing I wanted to talk about was a video from Raj Giandeep. Giandeep? Yeah, I'm so sorry if I messed up your name. Who has interviewed someone who wraps cars professionally. Hence the rapper. The interview itself was very interesting and in-depth, and I encourage you all to watch it in full if you were ever interested in the nitty-gritty of wrapping vehicles. Some things that were really cool about the interview were as follows. 
the gentleman interviewed spoke about the efficiency and efficacy of wrapping, its drawbacks and advantages, and how he felt about the Aptera uh, and how it would fare as a wrapped vehicle. Aptera Owners Club got footage of the presentation that Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony did in St. Moritz, Switzerland. The presentation had several nuggets and bits that we hadn't heard about. I'm so confident that you will watch and enjoy that video that I will just say go and watch it. I will not spoil the video, but the presentation was very cool and made me very optimistic that they can get into production this year. Alright folks, please comment below if you think I'm blowing the whole waveform podcast thing out of proportion. Let me know what your favorite story was, or just have a conversation about Aptera. All the videos I talked about are in the description, and if you guys would like to reserve your own Aptera, follow my link below to get a $30 discount, making a reservation $70 instead of $100. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.